We don't have earlids, right? We're constantly surrounded by sound. Some sound is healthy, some sound is unhealthy. So I want you to think of the unhealthy sound as noise. It's like a weed in a garden. It's not providing value, it, it doesn't belong. One of the challenges with noise though that we often take for granted is that it has serious detrimental health effects. And in fact, the World Health Organization put out a report that in Europe, noise pollution was the second leading cause of environmental ill health to European citizens. Noise pollution from traffic noise. So if we think about our world becoming increasingly populated, more machines, more electronics, more sound, more noise, our system is constantly bombarded, right? So we have light, we have sound, and all kinds of things coming at us today that we didn't have even generations ago to the extent that we do. And this is having an effect on our sensory processing. So many people, not just on the autism spectrum or with a brain injury or, or with PTSD, feel this environmental overload, right? This sensory toxicity where the brain can't modulate all the sensory input coming in. And when sound is coming at us 24 seven, it's very important to teach ourselves how to process that sound and get to a place where it provides comfort and safety. Not that not a detriment to us, but a nu nutrient to us. So the listening program is specifically designed to make us feel comfortable in our sound environment, to gently introduce music uh, of different tempos, of different frequencies, of different timing and temporal pat patterns, different volume levels, so that through this very pleasant presentation of brain training through sound, we learn to accept the sound in our environment and to be able to modulate it. So we can really turn it off and on, even though we don't have ear lids, our system can filter the sound in such a way that the unwanted sounds are easier to push out and the good sounds that we need to communicate and interact in our environment can come in.